And today the garden gates opened for local residents to see the Elmira Blooms annual garden tour. Our 18 News reporter Sharif B. King is live in the studio with what local gardeners and how they're expressing themselves through their plants and through their flowers. Good evening, Sharif. Thanks, Kevin. There are six locations in Elmira that were a part of the Elmira Blooms tour. One gardener in particular added a spiritual foundation to her plant and flower location, wisdom, trust, and belief. Three key elements that can be found alongside her plants and flowers. Garden owner and creator Gloria O'Sullivan tells us about the elements in her garden and why she titles it a spiritual garden. I decided here that I would make a, several little garden rooms and out front, the first garden that you looked at, that's what I call my English pollinator garden. And that's for the birds and the bees and the butterflies. And I love to watch the dance of the garden, which starts early on in March and goes all through the year. So the flowers change, the, the season change, the um, atmosphere of the gardens change, and you watch the different uh, wildlife come and go. She uses her garden to stay connected to nature and her lost loved ones. I just lost a brother to cancer and I planted a rose in his memory. And before he died, you know, I told him I'd meet him in the garden. Keeping family and plants close is vital for Gloria. So yes, there is spirit in the garden. I have a statue in the back here, which is Lady of the Garden, which I bought on the way home from my mother's funeral and had that put in my garden. So she's there every morning. Yeah. Being a gardener goes beyond a hobby. It's her passion. I love it. If it's your passion and if you enjoy watching a plant evolve, you know, I think that everything I do is a gift from God. You know, it's, it's his creation and I just love showing it off. Now leading up to her 80th birthday, O'Sullivan's plan was to take this garden tour initiative one last time. Now that Elmira Bloom's garden tour is over, she has other goals in mind as she strives to see 100 years of age. However, she's grateful for what her garden done for her thus far. Next, she plans to shift her focus to art and writing. Live in the studio, Sharif D. King, 18 News.